Hey, this is Barrett from Porta Keeper. I wanted to pull a couple shots with this Lillette Bianca. But before I do that, if you haven't seen my written review on this machine or watch kind of the overview video on YouTube, make sure to go search for those. The written review, I'll put a link in the description below. It's on the Espresso Outlet blog. So this morning, I was dialing in this Atom 60. I'm having a little bit of a struggle getting it perfect, but we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna use the bottomless porta filter that came with the machine. One thing I'm not too wild about, and I've said it comes pretty much turnkey. I really like a VST basket. This is not. This is the stock basket that came with the machine. So if you're gonna upgrade something, that would be my recommendation as something that I would probably upgrade. This one does pretty good. Let's tear that out and let's try to grind 18 grams of beans. Well, we're gonna go over 18. Right about 19. Let me dump a little bit. We're right at 18 now. So I like to give it a little tamp. And then this is the tamper that came with the machine. It's a really great tamper. It's oversized, it's 58.55 millimeters, so it's a big stainless steel tamper. So let's pull a shot. So I just have the flow control all the way open. I'm gonna tear my scale. Let's see what happens. Oh, had a little bit of a spray. I'm, I'm really fighting this Atom 60. But it looks like it's coming along pretty good. It's not really what I want to see, but... At all. But we're going to get about 30 grams in 30 seconds. We're actually at about 34 grams at 28 seconds. So it ran a bit fast, but you get the point. The beans are really fresh. Uh, I got them from Mahogany Roasters. This is the Alice's Espresso Blend, so it's kind of hard to see there. But there is a ton of crema on top. That's why it's kind of clumpy coming out. Looking the, the coffee itself looked a little bit clumpy. It was all the crema, because there was so much crema on this. Give it a quick taste. Perfect temperature. Probably need to stir it a little bit with all this crema. It's like really thick on top. Um, I don't do the puck thing. A little bit muddy looking, but I bet it. if I had a precision basket, it'd probably be a little bit less muddy and a little bit different grinder. So some of that is just getting the fines on the top. But overall, I mean, there's your Lilit Bianca. You have your steam wand. I don't do much milk drinks. And then you also have your hot water. So make sure to check out my full review on Espresso Outlet blog, as well as the other video of me just talking about the features of the machine. Thanks for watching.